Oh, hi, guys. Another live look. Oh, they're going over the edge again. They're at Providence uh, Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. Our superheroes in action. I wish I could have made it just a little bit cooler for them, but they are all smiles. What an amazing sight that is. I really admire uh, the work being done this evening. Your forecast for sports tonight, I'm looking out at the month of August. This is from the Center for Climate Prediction. This was released just today, updated actually. A signal of above average temperatures for the month of August. It starts tomorrow. That's why I'm uh, uh, focusing on this with below average precipitation. Uh, a strong signal for that, especially in North Idaho and Western Montana. Certainly something we do not want to see, even though we do have some cooler air to start the month, uh, which is on the way already. We have today this ridge of high pressure in place. That is moving to the east. We are going to bring some cooler air in. Our winds pick up tomorrow, and that may raise our fire uh, level concerns for tomorrow night as well as Thursday. And then uh, our winds begin dying down for Friday, and our temperatures really drop down below average even. Flooding rains for the eastern two-thirds of the country. If it's not one thing, it's another. High temperatures nationally are in the triple digits in Las Vegas and Phoenix. 98 today in Boise. It was 90 in Billings. 80 degrees in Seattle. Here's your seven-day forecast. We are cooling down. A high of 78 on Friday. Looks like we're going to be keeping the temperatures below average through the first part of August, uh, but then things start to change, it looks like, as we get into the middle of the month. Nadine?